All right, so the first question we have for you is, uh, can you just tell us about Frontier? Well, Frontier, we moved here and opened Frontier on February 10th of 71. And we started with 99 seats. And back then we only had, we didn't have the New Mexican food that we have today because we moved here from Texas and we brought the recipes that we were using in Texas. And there I worked for a local chain that had several uh, restaurants that were just a hamburger portion of our menu. We knew we needed to do green chili because mm -hmm. from day one, that's one of the things that came up. Our employees mentioned it to us and customers asked for green chili. What do you think played into like the success of the frontier into what it is today? Well, that came over the years. We always had the sweet roll. So you say the sweet roll is definitely the most iconic dish? It, it was at the beginning. And mm -hmm. the, the sweet roll was an item that it, people remembered it and that's what we actually were sort of known for. We had a lot of artists, more of the kind of the starving artists, I yeah. guess, or wannabe artists that hung around Frontier, which we didn't even know about that much. But as we started putting up paintings and stuff, they said, well, geez, would you do something with our art? And we hung some of their stuff. But when we got this last dining room going, they said, you should leave it as it well, as it is, you know, where we had the old-fashioned lights and the ceiling is plaster, and it was it was a pawn shop, yeah, oh, wow. and they had a rug in here, so we didn't know about. I mean, it sounded okay for a pawn shop, but then when we started converting it to a dining room, we needed to get rid of the rug, of course, and we sure didn't want to put in carpet, yeah. so we pulled the rug, and the acoustics got really bad. Oh, yeah. And so this is why you see all these Indian rugs on the ceiling. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we started putting in something to absorb the sound and still not lower the ceiling with just an acoustical ceiling. It would have made a lot better sense to just put in acoustical tile. Yeah. But we said, well, well, we'll try this. And we started out with just a few of them. But now the acoustics are pretty good. If you don't do anything else, make sure that you don't have fluorescent lighting in the dining room. The, the lighting plays a significant role. We took all the fluorescent fixtures out and went to Mexico and got the chandeliers. And of course we get this sort of an amber colored glow in the building, which I think is warm for, makes people feel comfortable. And then we feel that we've also created an atmosphere in the store that is unique to Frontier. The thing about Frontier, um, like practically, like it's like across the street from UNM, and so also the food here is really cheap. They have some like more expensive options, but for the most part, like green chilies, too, burritos, hamburgers, you can get them all for like three bucks or less. Yeah, so it's like really practical. Yeah, just like sense. for considering the demographic that's around yeah. here, like yeah. it's a really good place. Food's good, they make tortillas, green chili's good. Yeah. What about you, sir? Oh, I like the authentic food and the atmosphere is relaxed and laid back and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Just a good place to eat. The big thing is, you know, that you want people to leave impressed. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You bet. Good.